on red. This guy in Ford is fucking idiot. Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome to my vlog. And it is afternoon. In today's vlog I'd, sh I'd like to share something with you, so... Just as a caution kind of thing. And really how life sometimes is. How your life can sometimes be. And what I'm talking about is... Well, I broke my boss's car. It's not a funny thing though. For, well, you can laugh, but I have to pay for it now. So what happened, you may ask? And what happened was he changed the lanes on a place he shouldn't. Anyway, what happened was while well, I was uh, you know, driving his car, I was parking and stuff. And I was trying to reverse it, fuck off. I was trying to reverse it and so I put in the gear, the, the reverse gear. So I did that. And it was uphill. So I was trying to reverse uphill, not downhill, uphill. And I'm reversing, turn off your indicator. Your indicator. There you go. And so I was trying to reverse it up here. And I put it in reverse. I, it was a no car. It's a company car, very old. And uh, you know, I tried to reverse it, and uh, I burned the clutch. <laughs> As I said, I'm not really a driver because I don't. Oh, you piece of shit! I don't have a driving license. I only have provisional for that. And he wasn't really shouting at me or anything, you know. Just, uh... Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Obviously you would be, you know, annoyed if someone broke your car. I said, sorry mate, but, well, you asked me to reverse it. <laughs> no, I said, it's my fault, you know, I'm not going to lie to you about, you know, I burnt your clutch. And, uh, well, you just have to, I'll have to pay for it. So I told them, you know, you just deduce the, you know, the dues, the amount you pay for repairs from my wages pretty much and so you know I'll probably pay quite a lot because uh, not only the parts the labor I'll have to pay as well so I'll have to pay around you know 400 maybe 500 pounds about a uh, week's worth of my work, about, can be a bit less than a week, and uh, you know, shit can happen. If it happened to him, for example, I wouldn't have to pay anything, he would still be annoyed, but I would, yeah, I wouldn't have to pay anything, but it happened to me. I was the one, you know, who did this, and therefore, I'll have to pay for my mistakes, really. And this is as a caution, you know. When you use someone else's car, bike, stuff like that, make sure you know you know how to do it. Because I got my lesson. I got my lesson. That, you know, I borrowed to his car pretty much. Well, borrowed. He asked me to do it. 
But I could easily say, no, I won't do it. I don't have driving license. It obviously was on private property. So I could do it. That's why he asked me. And he knows I can drive normal cars. It's just that I don't have a license. So as I say, it could happen to him when he did that. Did that. I'm sure he didn't do it just to, you know, for me to break the, the clutch. It was just that the car is old and I tried to reverse. I've added too much power and the clutch burnt. What the fuck are you doing? I tried to reverse the clutch. Uh, yeah, well, I already said that. Don't know why they're going fucking 30 miles an hour, man. This is this is 50 zone. Pom pom. You want that in? You will. And so, well, I have to pay. As I said, about 400 quid it will be worth <laughs> that repair. So, you know, when you do mistakes, shit can happen. And that's pretty much the lesson you can learn from my mistake. Which I could say, no, I won't do it. I don't have a driving license or something, you know. I don't want to break your car or something, whatever, you know. So even if it's your boss, you have the right to say no. Remember that. You don't have to do it. I wanted to do it because, you know, I wanted to drive a car. But if I chose not to do it, this wouldn't have happened. And if it would have happened, it wouldn't happen to me. So I wouldn't care. So that's a life lesson you can learn from me of not doing something just because they ask you to. <laughs> or don't do something just because they ask you to, even if they're your boss or something. Idiot. Wheel spin. So yeah, I don't really have anything else. I just, I'll, I just wanted to say that you know, I'm in shit, shit mood, kind of. Because it, well, he would do a, a lot of. For me, it's a lot of money, at least. You know, about four or five hundred pounds. That's a lot of money for me. Fortunately, it's not a new car, like, for example, I don't know, five-year-olds or something like that, because that might be even more expensive to do that. So I'm grateful for that, because because it is a older car, about, oh, how much does it have, 11 years, maybe? Maybe 10? Some, something like that, yeah. Don't remember the registration, though. Because you will have when it was first registered, so... I don't remember the registration, but uh, something like that, you know. It's not brand new. It doesn't have five years. And yeah, you know, it's thankful thankful for that because because the the parts will be cheaper due to the car being older and the labor will be also cheaper because the car is not luxurious or something probably. I mean uh, I don't really I don't usually go to, to garages, I do everything on my bike myself. And besides, I don't own a car, so I don't know how garages charge for anything. Oh yeah, he wasn't, you know, dick about this, you know, said, oh, pay it, it was okay. I'm still employed. <laughs> and, yeah, you just have to, you know, sometimes when you do, mis as I said, I'm quite a honest person, and I do take, you know, when I make a mistake, for example, and I say, oh, okay, I made a mistake or uh, I broke something, I'm not gonna like, oh no, it wasn't me or something. No, I'm gonna say, yeah, it was me, sorry about that. If I have to, I'll pay you or something. I'm quite, you know, honest person. 
when it comes to that. There's a car coming out. So yeah, when it comes to that I'm quite honest and uh, I admit to my mistakes, I admit to my errors or something and I'll pay for them. If I have to, I pay for them. Sometimes I do hope that people will say, ah, fuck it. But this time, you know, the costs are a bit too, a bit, too big, I think, to, you know, just for my boss to say, oh, fuck it. It was something else, I know, broke his mirror or something and he might have gone, ah, fuck it. But that's not a mirror that can be changed for like, you know, 20 quid used or something like that. So here's the life lesson for you guys. And... Uh, yeah. And tomorrow, my, tomorrow is my birthday. <laughs> so, nice present I got for myself. A bill of a couple of hundred pounds. Great. Yeah, probably some of you will laugh at my misfortune and <clears throat> all my stupidity. I, it was stupid, as I say. I, mean, I don't defend myself in any way. I mean, if I didn't uh, take the keys and, so, and you know try to do anything with this car, I wouldn't have done it. Uh, if it would break, I, it wasn't my fault. So I wouldn't give a shit. But now that, that is broken, it is my fault. I do have to give a shit. So probably I'll be doing some overtime <laughs> just to get something out of my weekly wages or something like that. Of the, well, of the week, pretty much. Not weekly wages. Because as I said, about the week will be gone. So if I do overtime, at least I'll get something out of it. I will see how long. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I don't know if you enjoy that, but as I said, I'll be doing stuff that you know happens to me pretty much on this channel. So when I'm happy, I'll be uh, I'll, uh, there'll be stuff I'm happy about or something like that. It'll make me happy. And if I'm sad or if I'm pissed or something, you know, something happens, I'll tell you that guys as well. You know. So that that type of content I want to do on this really. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to, you can subscribe. I'd appreciate any likes and stuff like that. And uh, you can share the videos as well. So thanks guys. And I will see you in my next vlog. And blast out. <laughs>